In this video, I'm going to share a VBA script to convert a Word document to a PDF file. So here have a Word document file that I want to convert to a PDF file. And this file is 17 pages long. Now open a blank Word document file and save the file as a macro enable file. Now I'm going to click on Developer tab and click on Visual Basic to open the VBA window. And I'll insert a new module. All right, so here I'm going to create a subroutine. And I'll name the subroutine convert word to PDF. I'll start by declaring my variables and objects. So the first object I'm going to declare is the uh, word document file. And I'll name the object DLC as document. Next, I want to create several variables to store uh, different file path and folder paths. All right, so this is going to be the file path linked to the Word document template. And I'll name the variable Word file path, a string. I also want to create a variable to store just the file name. And this one is going to be the folder path we want to save the PDF file. And I'll name the variable output path, a string. All right, so for the output path, I'm going to simply copy paste the folder path where I want to save the PDF file. And make sure that you insert the backward slash at the end. And for the word file path variable, this one's going to be the file path to the word document. And to extract just the uh, file name, which is this uh, portion right here, I'm going to create a function and I'll name the function get file name. And we're going to provide a parameter called file path, a string. And the output is going to be a string DR type as well. All right, so inside the function, I'm going to type dimv as variable. This is going to be the uh, temporary variable that I'm going to use. And I want to split the file path argument with application the path separator and to get the file name I can type get file name is equals to v followed by referencing the u bound value from the uh, v object now going back to the convert word to pdf subroutine here I want to create the file name variable by inserting the get file name function. And I'll provide word file path as the argument. And this will be file. All right, so at this point, we can open the word document using documents.open method. And I'll provide the word file path variable. And I can save the output as DOC. And because uh, this is an object, I need to use set statement. So when I open the file with this statement here, I want to uh, simply save the existing Word document as a PDF file. And I can do that by referencing the doc object that save us to. For the file name, it's going to be output path concatenated with the file name. And because the file name variable still has the uh, DOCX extension type, I need to replace the extension from the DOCX to the PDF. And for the file format, for PDF, it's going to be 17. And once I convert the Word document to a PDF file, I can close the Word document. And I'm going to set the save change to false. 
and that's it. And this should be nothing. Right, so going back to the uh, template file of the uh, blank document, I can run the macro by going to view, macros, and here's the convert word to PDF macro, and I'll run it. Oh, so we have a typo. This should be word file path. Now let me try again. Right, so it's opening the Word document and doing the conversion. And it looks like the macro is finished. And here I'm going to open the PDF file. And just to make sure that I have all the contents translated into the PDF file from the Word document. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to show you in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.